Team CEOs. So here we are. We're at session four. You guys are halfway done. That's crazy, right? So let's talk a little bit about this week's session. We're going to talk about improving one idea. So taking that time to really hone your craft and think about how you can make that one idea that you've come up with, how you can make it better, how you can make it work better for everyone else. So let's go over this week's terms. Number one, we're going to talk about what a startup is. A startup is a company in the early stages of development. Um, it usually is like a small staff and they make money really quickly. The thing about startups are they start out small, but then they grow to something huge. Um, so think about what kind of businesses in your community or businesses that you may have heard of that have been startups already. Um, Uber was a startup, so was Lyft. So those are small startup companies that grew to be something huge. Also, we're going to talk a little bit more about what a venture capitalist is, also known as a VC. A venture capitalist is a person or a firm. So one person or a group of people that give money um, to startup corporations and all that good stuff in exchange um, for a share of the future profits. So a venture capitalist is doing something great for this small startup, but they do want a little small piece of the pie once this startup takes off and all that good stuff. Also, we're gonna talk about your pitch. So your pitch is a presentation that you put together to promote or advertise your business. So how can you pitch your projects, right? Um, how can you pitch your service? Think about 30 seconds. If you only had 30 seconds to be in the elevator with Oprah or Chris Brown or Rihanna, if you were in the elevator for 30 seconds with them and you wanted to pitch them your idea for your product or service, how could you do it fast, get them excited, and get them interested? So that's what a pitch is. Now. You'll also take some time to get to know Michaela Ulmer today. So Michaela Ulmer actually has meat and the bees lemonade. So she has this product that's amazing. And her product is actually not only just a product, but it's a service. So you'll get to know Michaela a little bit today. In the meantime, in between time, take some time, get to know your terms. And I will work with you guys and your instructors will work with you guys to make sure that you're on the ball and ready for your Kahoot quiz. And then we'll go into the rest of the day. Alrighty, girls. Catch you later. See you in a little bit. And I hope you enjoy your review time. Bye. Welcome back, my teen CEO, Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio. My name is Miss Hazel, and I'm one of the program facilitators. Um, I just want to welcome you back to session four. I want to thank you for participating in this program, and I want to say thank you for having me as one of your presenters. It is my pleasure to work with you. Why am I here? I'm here because I care about young ladies who have a desire to be an entrepreneur because I'm an entrepreneur. I have a desire for young ladies to succeed. So it is my job and my pleasure to work with you and help you succeed in this project. I'm so excited for you. I'm really happy that you've taken, uh, the, taken it upon yourself, that you've taken it upon yourself to uh, be part of this program and learn all the things that it takes to be a CEO. So before I go any further, let me just explain. I am extremely camera shy. So I don't enjoy being in front of this camera. I don't like taking pictures, but it's part of my job. And under the circumstances, I can't be with you in person where I'm much better at this. So I'm just going to try to wing it. Now, why am I telling you that? I'm telling you that because at the before this is all said and done you're going to be in front of the camera because guess what that's what ceos do so while this is my first time in front of the camera delivering a, a session um i consider this good practice and i'm in good company so without further ado i just want to welcome you again to session four which is improve on one idea so yeah i got some little cue cards um because i didn't 
I want to make sure that I'm looking where I need to look and I'll just glance down occasionally. So uh, bear with me um, so I don't lose track of everything that I need to explain. So the first thing we're going to do is the little housekeeping things because that always has to take place. So I hope that you're free from distractions right now and that you can watch us straight through and that we can do this run. So um, we always start with the Girl Scout Promise and the Law. So I'm sure that you have copies of that and um, always start with that. And then um, next up is the Kahoot Review. And so I hope that you're having fun with that. Um, we were trying to think of a very dynamic way to bring you the CEO vocabulary. That's what I call it. Um, these are the terms that business people use. And with you becoming an entrepreneur, you're a business person, you need to be able to speak the language. So today you're going to get three new words. You're going to do the review. And I just hope that you have fun with it. So let me just preview the three words. No, word number one is startup. Number two is venture capitalist. And number three is pitch. Oh my God, the pitch part. That's where you're going to be in front of a camera. So I'm just giving you a little heads up. Okay, so Miss um, Fallon is going to come and give you the three words and give you the definitions and details. You'll work it through the Kahoot review. You'll have a blast. You'll learn a lot and you'll up your CEO game. So the next thing that's going to happen is there is a very, very inspiring uh, video of a young lady. And when I say young lady, she's very young, she's like a baby to me, a very young lady. Um, her name is Michaela um, Ulmer. And so uh, I want you to watch the video and I want you to watch for very specific things because in her video, you're going to see the pieces and parts of the vocabulary words for today. You're going to see her startup. So um, I'm going to ask you three um, questions about that video. Um, what was her startup? You're going to see uh, venture capitalists in the video. I want you to be able to identify who her first venture venture capitalists bleh, venture capitalists are, and I want you to be able to spot the pieces of her pitch. Um, so, and it's kind of throughout because she starts a little bit. I'm giving you a hint a little bit at the beginning, and then at the end of the video, she gives a really big pitch. And I think at that point when she made that pitch money probably likely poured in from everywhere to support her cause. So um, without further ado, you'll see the video. Okay, so now let's move on to the assignment. Last week's assignment was for you to create a vision board or a collage. Um, your, I believe the instructions was to gather uh, pictures and items uh, or from around your house and create this vision board. Um, I did the same thing because I figured if you had to do it, then I had to do it because we're all CEOs in this together, right? So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you my vision board. Okay, now um, the my company is called the Essential Image and Etiquette Institute. And what I do is I teach etiquette workshops and I also teach people how to... Um, dress for success and or dress for destiny. Now, I happen to be a girly girl, which you can probably see why. Why is she wearing that flashy necklace? Because that's what I do. Um, I needed to dress this polo shirt up a little bit, so I threw this piece of dazzle on just because it makes me feel good. So that's part of my job, is to show people how to dress themselves so that they feel good and they look the part. Now, let's say, um, one of my clients was going somewhere and she was going to be on the red carpet. So what I would do is dress her head to toe in a perfectly styled red carpet outfit. So shoes being my passion. And you notice I'm putting this up in front of my face because it's giving me an opportunity to hide from this camera. But you can also take a screenshot of my vision board if you want to take, if you like shoes. And you can um, take pictures, screenshot. And then you can look at all my little shoe, my visual, I'm sorry, my virtual shoe collection. So, yes, I love, 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 love shoes. And, oh, and this right here, this is how I envision myself looking like a boss. So when I get dressed and meet clients, I try to follow something like this, nice clean lines. Okay, so enough about me and my little vision board of my lovely shoes. 
Okay, so the next part of your assignment was to take your vision board and then come up with one idea. So I chose shoes and my one idea is the shoe kit. I should name it. I didn't name it, but I should have named it. So let's just call it my shoe kit. Essential shoe kit. That's what I call it. So what's in my shoe kit? Just some items that I had around the house that I use to take care of my shoes because I am not a shoe designer. I am not a shoe manufacturer. I'm a shoe wearer. And so I love my shoes and I don't like my shoes to get ruined and I have to throw them away. So I have to buy products and whatnot to um, keep them for a very long time. So here's what would be in the shoe kit. And so who would buy this? The person who loves shoes and wants to preserve them. So not to get into that specifically, but let me just show you what's in my kit. This is an instant shoe shine thing. So when I don't have a lot of time, I can just real quick and I'm out the door. And I always tell, uh, remind myself to wipe the shoes off so that I don't spread the dirt around. This right here is my rain and stain shoe guard. And this is what I spray on my boots and my leather shoes when I have to go out in the rain and I don't want to be ruined by rain. Um, this also, this spray also works on suede, so it'll be like uh, water repellent, which suede can't get wet. This is my handy dandy shoe polish black, and I keep other few colors on hand, and I should throw them in the kit as well, but I only could find my black shoe polish. Black shoe polish is for those little scuff marks that sometimes happen around the heels or the toe, whatever, and you can just dab it real quick and, and go. This is my handy suede brush, and this is for my suede shoes to keep the um, the texture uh, smooth and uh, free of dust and dirt. This is my um, leather protector. So it kind of works like the spray, but this is for when I'm actually polishing my boots and my shoes, and it gives it a nice oil coat, um, leather. I like leather shoes. Leather um, needs to have moisture. And so it keeps my shoes from drying out and it also repels dirt and other things. And then these two little products, these are heel liners, which go at the back of the shoe to keep it from slipping. And these are sure, these are shoe treads that go on the bottom of the shoe. Um, if I happen to be in a place with some slippery surfaces. And I learned about this product because my daughter, um, who is a model, uh, we did a show. She did a show and um, the models were like slipping and sliding on the floor because it was like super slick. So I was praying, Lord, don't let her fall in front of this crowd. And so after that, we went shopping and we found the material. So this is the kit. So this is me improving on one idea of shoes. And you can do the same thing. So um, I want you to uh, really focus on what product that you want to uh, develop and if there's ways that you can um, improve on what you have. And now um, there are three questions that go with that assignment. So let's just jump into it. You get your vision board, you pick your item or items or your idea, and you, you're you going to expand that idea. And the reason why I say that is because when you start a business, it has a tendency to grow because the more that you're working in that area, the more ideas and more creativity comes to you. So sometimes you just got to give it some time and you have to give it a lot of thought. So, um, this is to help you think outside of the box. So you have your basic idea. Now let's see if there's some ways that we can improve it. So I'm going to ask you some questions. I want you to write the questions down. I want you to journal this. And this is your thought work for your project. The first question is, how can I make this all mine? How can I make this unique? Or how can I improve on my idea? Now you want to write it down. And the reason why you want to write it down is because eventually you're going to create a business plan. And we'll talk about that later in another session, but just know for right now. So I'm advising you to write these things down. If you got a special journal for your product or your service, that's a good place to jot down all your ideas. Ideas will be coming at you 
in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, and you need some place to capture your ideas. So it's always good to journal. Number two is what can this product or service do that others do not? Because that's your differentiation factor. And that's the thing that makes you buy one pen over another. Um, this is a marker, but this is a marker. This marker has a wide thing. And so it's okay if I want to write something really wide. This is a Sharpie. This is permanent. And you see the point, how thin it is? This point, it makes thinner lines. And so it's going to do some precise type of writing. This is for if you have to write something and you need it big so people can see it wide. Fine. So you, whatever your product is, you want to um, make sure that it's, it's specific and it's different. Um, question number three is what can my service or product solve? What kind of problems can it solve? And so, um, or can I take my service or product in this case and link it to something else? So all of these products are linked to shoes, but if I didn't have shoes, then I wouldn't need this. So you see what I'm saying? So think about the problems that your service or product can solve and then write that out. And again, the reason why you're writing it out is because you're going to have to write a business plan, which is going to have to uh, be very expansive in, uh, you're going to have to expand your idea and it's got to be written out. And number two is you're going to do a 30 second pitch, which is our next portion of this, um, of this particular session. So, okay. So write it down. Uh, think about it. Uh, you have a week. So, so make sure that you add time in your day and what else you got but time because now everybody's on house lockdown. So you've got time to really develop your product, which is a good thing because you don't have all this extra pressure about being here and there and you can really focus and develop this thing. So this is a good time for people to start businesses. Okay, so, um, so we talked about why to write it. And so the next part of this project is to create a 30 second video. Uh oh, here we go with this camera nonsense, right? Well, okay. And so you might be able to um, enlist the help of your parents or a sibling, somebody that can hold the camera for you if you don't have a, a tripod and all those fancy little things. Or you can, you know, if you have a selfie stick, you could probably use the selfie stick so that, you know, you're not like whatever. You just got to do it and make sure that you're comfortable. So what I'm going to tell you about the 30 second uh, video. So it's your 30 second commercial. So let's say um, you got on Shark Tank and you have 30 seconds to capture their attention. And because um, people start to lose attention span if you're not interesting. So you've got to kind of hit them with the one-two punch of why my service or product is interesting. So in the 30 seconds, you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to tell them what your product or service is. You're going to name it. You're going to show them a little picture or a prototype or something. And then you're going to tell them what problem your product or service can solve because that's why anybody's going to be interested. They want you to solve their problem. Okay. And so tell the people why they need it and tell the people who it's for. So you got to be thinking about the, what you call end users, who's going to buy this product or service. And then lastly, after you have developed your 30 seconds, so you get somebody, set a timer, um, maybe the timer on your stove or your phone or someone's going to help you and practice, 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 because that is really the key to delivering it so super smooth. Now, with that being said, I realize that on camera, I'm a little jumpy and quirky and all those things. Normally when I'm teaching, I'm pacing and that's what burns up my energy. And that's what kind of keeps me going and flowing. And I'm not worried about the camera and what I look like or whatever, because I think I look terrible. But um, most of all, just know that practice makes perfect. And so the more that you can practice it, write it out, uh, practice saying it in the mirror and then just rehearse it and keep rehearsing it. And you're going to change the words and you're going to change your expression and new words going to come in. And that's when your creative juices are really flowing. I can't tell you how many times, how many takes and all of that and how much rehearsing um, I was supposed to do to get this in. And to be honest with you, got it in late. 
because I was like being a perfectionist. So we're not trying to be a perfectionist. Your first time out the gate, it's not, you're going to be like, oh my God, that was terrible. But I just want to encourage you to keep going, keep rehearsing, keep practicing and get it down pat. And most of all, what I'm going to say to you is um, the more you spend time with it, um, the more you tweak it, the more you're comfortable with it, it's going to take your anxiety level way down, which is great. And most of all, I'm going to say to you, have fun doing it and have fun this week. And I'm going to wrap up right here and I'm going to say, have fun this week and I'll see you next time. Hey girls, welcome back. How was Kahoot for you? I hope it was so much fun, like it always is, but I hope you really took those terms that you learned today from your instructors and were able to kind of really understand what we're going to be moving forward with when it's time for us to start identifying our products and our services. Now, with that being said, your Think Outside the Box activity, how did that go? Was it amazing? I know that for you guys last week when you put together your collages, you were able to take your collage this week and take it one step further and improve that idea that you created from last week. So how cool is that? So we're trying to get you guys to understand that it doesn't take you having to scrap your whole idea or as one of my friends always says, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. We're not doing that. We want you to take some time to look at those things that you've done and improve that idea. So that's pretty cool, right? So again, going over those terms for the week. Startup. Venture capitalist, pitch, learning about Michaela, and doing that think outside the box activity. All right, girls, as always, I'll catch you next week. Peace out, Girl Scouts.